Hi, I'm Dr. Adelin Tan from University of Malaysia, Sabah. I prepare this video is to explain how to prepare a simple financial statement for the group project of my students who are taking the course APK. So before I continue to explain how to ex how to prepare the financial statement, let's look at what do we mean by financial statement first. Financial statement actually is the return report that convey the business activities. In another word, the return re records of the business activities done by a company within a certain period of time. And it will show whether the company achieves certain financial performance within that period of time. So we want to know, is the company making profit or loss? Is the company have a good cash flow in that period of time? And whether the company have assets or liabilities? Um, to, to do the business. So in the financial statements, we actually prepare three statements. The income statement, which is used to record the profit or loss of the business. The balance sheet, which is used to reflect the assets or and liabilities of a company. And the cash flow statement, which is used to record the movement of cash in the company. In another word, we want to know how much cash is being received in the company and how much cash is being paid in the company so next i will explain how to prepare a simple financial statement of income statement and cash flow statements all right let's look at the data that i prepare okay this is the data that uh, i prepare for example for company abc which started to do business in October 2020. So this company already do business for a few months. So assume that we want to prepare a report by end of the year 2020. So these are the informations we collected from the business. For example, the capital invested in the company 1,000 ringgit. The revenue, that means the sales of the company is 950 ringgit. While at the same time, we have expenses of cost, for example, cost of raw materials, 280 ringgit. This is the cost to produce the things. And we have wages, wages to the workers, paid to the workers, which is the wages to produce the things also is 80 ringgit. The salary of managers is uh, 100 ringgit. Rental, another 100 ringgit. Promotion cost. Promotion cost is the cost to promote the products. For example, cost to prepare brochure, catalog, and other products. Entering it and transportation. Transportation is the cost to produce, uh, to deliver the products to the customers. So next, we are looking at the format first. When we want to prepare an income statement, this is the format of income statement you can see on my uh, this side. Okay. All right. So this is the format of an income statement. I make it very simple. So the format we should start with the title. For example, a BC company income statement dated or by the year ended thirty first December twenty twenty. So next. We normally we have the first column is the description of what we we have. Second column is to put down the ring it for certain pro, certain items and the third column as well. So first we have to put in the sales revenue. Let's say refers back to my data. My sales revenue is nine hundred and fifty ring it. So I will put it here nine hundred and fifty ring it on the second column. Right. Next, I have to deduct or minus the cost of sales. So cost of sales refers to cost of pre preparing the products or service for sales. So normally we include here the cost of raw materials and the wages. If you have cost of packaging, if you pay for cost of packaging because packaging is part of the product. So you also put it here, cost of packaging. So I total up this 280 plus 80 ringgit, it will become 360 ringgit. So this one I have to deduct it here. So 950 ringgit minus 360 ringgit, I will get 
590 ringgit this is the gross profit of the company so it's not completed yet because there are expenses that i didn't include okay so the expenses that i have to include here is salary 100 ringgit and rental another 100 ringgit based on my data here and my promotion is 80 ringgit transportation fees another 50 ringgit if you have other expenses for example the expenses such as uh, uh, telecommunication charges you also include here okay and other type of expenses that not included here expenses that not included in the cost of sales you included here so in total i have 330 ringgit eh? when i total up this i will get 330 ringgit so 590 ringgit minus the 330 ringgit you will get 260 ringgit this is the net profit so based on this we know how much profit this company is making in this year all right so next we have to prepare a cash flow statement let me show you a very detailed and complete cash flow statement first huh? so this is a very detailed and complete cash flow statement you have a cash balance as in uh, early of the year beginning of the year okay okay opening balance after that we have to minus the cash flow operations so the cash received from customers that is sales and other operations minus the cash that you paid the okay, cash that you paid then you will get a net cash flow operation and then after that we also have cash flow investment activities if you have these activities then you have to record the cash received from this activity for example cash received from properties loans and other investment and cash paid for all these other investment to get a total balance of this and after that we also include cash flow for financial activities that is the cash received from stock cash received from capitals and borrowings also the cash paid for purchasing of stock loans and other things so after that we will get a total here and finally we'll get a net cash balance at the end of the year of course this is a very detailed one so for our group project we only prepare a simple one let me show you a simple cash flow statement uh yes this is the simple cash flow statement that i have prepared okay for you so you can follow this format i already simplify it so again to prepare cash flow statement you need the title okay this is the apc company right a little bit mystic here okay the title of the company and then cash flow statement dated 31st december 2020 so we really need to confirm a date for the statement we cannot simply put any date we need to confirm a final date for the statement normally it will be the end of the year or end of a certain month so first we we want to know whether we have cash balance or not not okay for us new company first time doing business of course we don't have cash balance so it is zero here after that we want to ask ourselves do we have cash flow operation for example cash receive revenue yes of course you must have cash flow operation that is the cash that you receive by selling products so the revenue here is 950 ringgit so i put it here so if you have more then you can put it other cash receive for example cash receive from um, transportation charges that you charge on your customers so you put it here and then after that you total it up here so since i have only one revenue so my figure is the same 950 ringgit i total it up here this is the total of this column total 950 ringgit is the total of this column okay next all the cash that i pay included the cash for production cash for uh, uh the cash paid for wages salary and rental all the cash paid 
I will put it here. So I copy everything here. The data from the data here. Remember, this is my data. So 280 ringgit. Uh, wages, 80 ringgit. 100. Another 100. Okay, 80 ringgit. And 50 ringgit. So I need to know how much is the total one. Huh? Let's see how much is the total. Um, is uh, the total is six hundred and ninety ringgit. So I have to minus six hundred and ninety ringgit because I need to know the the balance, okay, for cash flow operation. So I minus here, okay. So after that. To make it simple, you, you can do the total calculation at the end if you don't want to get a total here, right? So next, we want to look at cash flow financial activities. That is the cash received for capital investment. That means we, you as the owner of the company, you invest the, your uh, amount of company money here. So you also have to record it here because this is the first time, right? After that, for the second year, if you don't have capital investment, then you will keep this as zero. So capital investment only. I don't have other type of investment or other type of receive in terms of financial activities. So I put it here. Okay. And then when I total up the final figures, I will get in total 1,260 ringgit in cash for the company to continue to do business in the future so this is the cash flow statement that i want to show you how to prepare that okay thank you for listening to my or uh, watching my video clip thank you very much